Sup dudes, what's going on guys here? My name is Buzz and today we got for you why you should love Roblox. Now I did a video literally yesterday about the why video why you shouldn't like Roblox, why you, would, why you would hate Roblox, and I know I had to come up with why you should love it because well, um, I mean it's, it's a reason why I'm playing it. I mean if I hated it, I wouldn't be playing it every single day. What I want for you guys to do today is comment the nicest word you know. I'm gonna start off with the word frolicking, just feels, feels right. It's like a good word. Kind of like it. <laughs> yeah, otherwise than that, let's go ahead and get on into it. All right, guys. So we're going to start off with the best feature about Roblox, and that's just going to be the creativity side to it. And I know I'm about to make a lot of you mad and literally make you rage, but it's a lot like Minecraft. Oh, my God. No, no. What? Are you kidding me? Are you what? Get out of here, Buzz! I'm unsubscri- I'm subscribing. I'm unsubscribing. No, like, I'm talking about for the fact that anyone can really create anything they want. And Minecraft is a little bit better about that because it's literally just blocks, placing on blocks, on blocks, on blocks. And yeah, there's some modding and developing that goes along with it, but literally anyone can make almost any game in that particular game. Uh, not so much Roblox, but if you have the skills, you can actually create your own game. And the threshold or the, the, the level of difficulty the degree of difficulty is not as much as like let's say like a call of duty mod or something like that it's actually a lot easier to create you know like an obby anyone can create an obby it's really not that hard and it has shown i mean you have seen great games you've seen jailbreaks you've seen role plays you've seen a lot of crappy games that should be uh really bad turn out to be amazing amazing games because literally anyone can make them i'd love to know the actual number of how many games there are in Roblox because that would be freaking amazing. I bet there are millions. And I mean, that's kind of the reason why it's gotten so popular is for the variety. You know, you play Call of Duty, I'm just using that as an example, and League of Legends or any particular game where they release it to you, you only get a few different types of game modes, maybe 10, 15 game modes. Roblox, you get a million. Just kind of piggybacking off that, it's for free. I mean, you literally don't have to pay a single dime if you want to play this game. You can play Jailbreak, you can play Phantom Forces, you can play almost anything you want without having to pay anything. And I made the point last time about how Bloxburg, you had to pay for it, and yeah, you did. But the game, what makes it really good is the fact that you don't have to, you're not required to pay for anything. You can, you, it's kind of advised, kind of, they kind of, push you towards doing that but it is totally not required at all kind of awesome kind of look like i blend in with this wall another thing is the community is actually pretty good you get 15 percent that really suck but we're going to talk about that other 85 percent that are really cool everyone's kind of accepting now it's it's kind of cool i mean if you go on to an obby or you go on to something you can type in the chat and more than likely most people will be accepting of you i could never say that about call of duty or any other game i played because i would get flamed if i would literally say Hey guys, what's going on? Just wanna just wanna shoot the crap. Everyone would literally be like, Get out of here, you stupid piece of farting ostrich! And I go over and cry in my little corner. Psych! <laughs> not not crying. So yeah, I like it. I like the community. I like how it works. I really liked it when we had the forums because a lot of people were really cool. And even like the pros, like the big time guys were willing to come and help me out. I don't know if that was just because I was a YouTuber, but everyone I've seemed to have met on Roblox, I haven't really had a problem with any of them yet. There's not been a guy where I've literally hated his guts. I mean, there's been guys on Minecraft and there's been guys definitely on Clash of Clans and definitely on Call of Duty who I've literally hated them. I don't hate people, guys. I don't hate them, but I hate a few particular guys through some certain video games. I know, video games. You hate people through freaking video games. So yeah, I kind of I kind of enjoy I, I enjoy a lot of the people in the community, you know, like Alex Valentino Crown, Rasmus. There's a lot of these guys that I've met and they might have initially come off wrong. Not not a lot of them. Not none of those guys I was talking about. But there are some guys, even the guys I meet, uh they 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 turn out to be really really cool guys. And then another really cool aspect is like the hacking community. I know you're probably like there aren't no hackers in Roblox, buzz. There are, they're just not the ones you think about. They're the guys who maybe try to get free Robux or just, just, we'll just keep it at that. So those guys are freaking cool. They're all like the old Roblox players and I love all these like, you know, 
pre 2012ers or even some of the new guys who've really developed themselves well into the community they're all really nice guys and they're always willing to help out when I need it like if you guys haven't noticed some of my thumbnails have been different here and there that's because some of those guys helped me out they give me great ideas about new things and it just overall works well I mean I can't attest enough to Alex Valentino crown the guy gave me 5,000 robux just for joining his dang group Rasmus out all another guy all he did just because we were friends he made a whole shirt line for me it's been cool like the people I was able to meet in it and I'm sure a lot of you guys have created a lot of it's it's easy it is so easy to make friends in Roblox I think you guys probably have too I just think it's awesome personally I like it I like how like overall overall it's a positive community and I know a lot of people are gonna object to me and say it's like a, it's a terrible OD written community but it's really not yeah you you tend to look over and put those one few occurrences on a pedestal and be like that is the community when really it's not now this is the one that I think every one of you whether you played it or you have it or you hated it or you love it your first time playing it you were probably apprehensive about playing this game just like me I thought it was a nerd game I thought it was a little kid game I thought it was just overall a stupid game that I could never be caught playing it and now look at it I make a career out of it but I'm talking about it is actually fun it is one of those few games where I have fun and I'm still having fun today I do I, there's been a point where when I went through my personal YouTube career I played a game so much that I only played it when I was recording that's not the case with this game I'll get on and play Phantom Forces I'll get on and do speed run I'll get on and do tycoons just because I had fun I loved Minecraft one but I'm, I, this is not meant to be like a Minecraft comparison video I loved the game at one point but I got burnt out I got burnt out of Clash of Clans and I got burnt out of Call of Duty you guys are new to me those are the three games four games I've done in on my channel and I got so burnt out that I literally hated playing it while recording this game I'm 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 full run I'm, I'm, I'm full sales ready to go because I'm just enjoying it and I think there's a lot of people who really are either close to me or don't know they don't realize how much fun it is then they play it and they're like wow that's actually kind of fun some of my old friends who used to roast me all the time they're like hey, you Roblox piece of crap I did a collab with them and they were like all right this is kind of fun I low-key had fun playing this. And then next thing you know, I'm getting a text a week later, like, hey, let's go play Roblox right now. Ha <laughs> ha! Even the guys parodying the game, you know, you look at Merc Music and a lot of other guys, like a lot of like Video Game Donkey, all those guys, they parodied it. <laughs> Even though the community is a lot of cringe involved, uh, when they actually play it themselves to actually kind of make fun of the game, they ended up enjoying it. If you look at Merc Music, I think his first video was all a troll, and then he enjoyed it. So you should all give it a chance just for the fact that uh, no matter if you hate it or love it for some reason this game has some sort of a pool that it allows people who really hate it to like it and that's very rare for a lot of games you know people who play League of Legends and people who don't play League of Legends usually don't get along they don't they don't people someone who's totally against League of Legends and plays it they're not gonna be like oh my god this game is so amazing because it's just, it's just so, I don't know how to describe it I really don't there's something about it I think it's because you literally have something for everyone in the game after that we're gonna talk about the Robux and the Robux you're like why is this a positive I just like how the Robux aren't that involved in the game like if you think about it if you look at like Clash of Clans or any mobile game they're all free to play, but uh, you're gonna eventually have to pay if you want to not shoot your brains out because you are so freaking tired of being bottlenecked. Roblox, you can play and you would have the same exact advantage as the other guy who has 100,000 Robux or something. It's it's just kind of, it, it's, it's just the way it works. You're not gonna get a special gun or a special jumping ability just because you paid for it some games that might be the case but the big ones you know jailbreak and all that jailbreak you're not going to just pay to get out every time you can pay for money and you can pay for other things like that but they make it at such a price that most people just play the game and that's 
really cool to me. Another thing we're gonna keep going on the topic of the community is how diverse it is. You got kids from playing it for like 12 years old to 19 years old, and you're probably like, why, Buzz, are you playing with 11 year olds? And I don't play with 11 year olds, but I uh, I can play with like some 19 year old, 20 year old friends, and we have our great time. And on the other team, it's a bunch of six year olds. It's kind of cool. Uh, I, I know I don't, you're probably thinking, oh God, what a nerd. But I mean, if you think about it in context, how many games can older kids and younger kids co cooperatively play together? Now you can always tell who are the, who are the younger guys because they're like, Oh my god, that screaming doge is coming around playing John Doe while fiddling to the community. It literally sounds exactly like that because they type in I don't know what it is. It's like Egyptian. It's hieroglyphics. So. But it's pretty cool how I can, I just, I like the fact that I can play with uh, someone I can play with literally any demographic and I'd still have fun. Half the time I don't know I'm playing against them, but they, they act like they're, 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 they're normal human beings. You know, you play with a younger kid on like Call of Duty, they act like they are some like fetus that was just born out of the womb screaming. You remember, uh, you know, if you've ever played a game where it requires voice chat, all the young kids are like, yeah! It's ear piercing, but not on this community because most people are just like, what's up? Even Roblox is kind of like a social media. There's like a following, followers. There are so many different aspects you can play within the game. It's ridiculous. You can become a trader. You can become a game developer. You can become an actual player. You can be, there's so many just tight niche communities within the game. It's so cool to see. Like, I mean, there's like strictly people who play Jailbreak. There's strictly people who develop things. You know, and regular games, I, I always compare it to regular games because this isn't a regular game. This is a game platform for people to create their own games. So it's it's overall pretty cool to see all of these things develop. But the tight niche communities are so, I mean, you don't really get that in many other games. And yeah, you're gonna get your clans and your, your, your guilds and all that, and that's cool and all, but how many games can you go on and your specific interest is being fulfilled by everyone else? I mean, there are literally a group of kids who love, or kids, adults, I'm not 100% sure, there's a group of people who literally their whole devotion is to simulating plane rides. Simulating plane rides! No matter how weird you wanna get, no matter how cool you wanna be, you find a community for anything. And that's where we're gonna end off. I think it's awesome, and I really wanna justify why you should actually play Roblox, and why this video should, you know, convince you to love it because the hate one yeah that's the that's the complaints but where, where, there, where there's hate there's also some positivity so let's go ahead and wrap up the video all right guys i want to thank you all so much for watching this video if you can leave a like that would definitely be appreciated uh go ahead and do that follow me on twitter at xbuzzerman and like i said comment down below the funniest i guess happy word you could know mine's frolicking i'd love to see yours and uh yeah you guys are pretty amazing i love how the fact that you guys took your time out of the day to take a look at my content it really does go appreciated i really do like it and thank you all so much for just being awesome you guys have an amazing sexy day i'll see you next time later Thank <laughs> you.